Hello, in this video, I'll be, talk, I'll be um, explaining how to create a shape map in Power BI. So the first thing to do is to select the shape map um, visual and then to put in the columns you want to plot. So you need a location column and then you need a numerical column or a mayor. For the location column, it is important that the column has been categorized as a location and this can be done in the model view. So when you come to the model view, Go to the, uh, the table that contains the location and then click on the particular column that you want to use in your um sh in your ma in the shape map visual under proper in the properties pane under advanced under under advanced under data category choose the respective category for the data if it is city continent country or region state or province and so on and so forth. So that this is a very important step. Okay. Then the next thing is to actually plot the chart. So now under location, I will be adding my country code under location. And then the color saturation, I'll be adding the numerical, my mayor. So that can also be a numerical column. So I'll be adding the total death mayor. Now this data is about Africa, but we can see here that this is not displaying the map of Africa. And also we can't see anything about the color saturation. There is no color difference. So now when you when um, using a when using the shape map visual, there are options to select the type of map that you want to plot. In this case, it has automatically selected USA and then it's displaying the map of US. But we want to plot the map um the map of want to display the map of Africa. So let's see if we we'll see the map of Africa under the listed option by clicking this drop down. So looking at this now, we can't see the map of Africa here. That is not good enough. Okay, now but there's an option to import a map, a JSON file that can be used in um, plotting the map. So now I'm going to click on the custom map option, and I will import a JSON file so why importing a json file it is very important that you note you um, take note of the size of your json file if you import a json file that is very heavy i have one here that is um, 17 mb it makes the report to lag and the report will take time to load but then this is another one that is just 18 mb and this one soon cause any issue i'm going to select this one which is Africa and you can see that immediately the map of Africa has been displayed but then we cannot see the color saturation this is the reason for that now let's click on view map type keys and here now we can see that this particular JSON file contains the country name and then this type wherever so now but what are we plotting our location under this um, under the field option here we chose country code so assuming we have country code in this adjacent file then it will display accordingly so now i'm going to remove country code here now and then choose country name instead and and immediately you can see that the chart has displayed accordingly we can see that nigeria had the highest um total date so you can filter the i have a slider here and i'll filter the chart and you can see different region being highlighted so there are different settings under um, the map settings. So we have few colors, so you can specify the specific color you want. If you want a gradient color, you can specify what you want. Also, you can specify if you want to see blank area or not. Now, if I switch this off now, it's only going to display the I um, this um, filtered section. It won't display the other part of the map. So this is how to create a shape map in um, Power BI, 